Oh, it's tough going, isn't it? Oh, hi, Indy. <laughs> That's the way to get through. <laughs> this place is just exquisite. It's so beautiful and it's exactly what I need. It's exactly what I need. An opportunity to clear my mind and get away from all of the worries and anxieties and thoughts and to-dos. It's just so cool. I'm so lucky to be able to explore such a beautiful wonderland. South Island of New Zealand and it's winter time I'm quite warm actually because I've really been puffing going up this track it's not overly steep and it's only going to be about two to three hours of walking but that's that's all I need that's all I need to get out into the middle of this wild place and have a lovely camp with Indy Indy's excited to be here she absolutely loves getting out and about. She's enjoying herself. She's got her raincoat on to try and keep her a bit dry and put the mud off her for when we get in the tent. And she's also carrying her um, dog carrier with all her dog food in it. Aren't you? Aren't you? Yes. She's helping out today. I'd say we're probably about halfway. So uh, I'm going to crack on and get up to where our campsite's going to be. And um, it's going to be a bit of a and explore to try and find one because in all of the information that I've read everyone else's blogs everyone else's videos and there's not a lot uh, there is only one person that says there is a possible camping spot at the top of this track and that's enough for me they even had a photograph of them camping there so I'm gonna find that spot apparently it's very boggy we're heading up to a couple of mountain lakes and so of course it's going to be boggy. No problem getting water, so I haven't carried a lot in. Um, but yeah, it could be a pretty damp camp up there, so we're gonna to have to see what we can find. But I have the utmost faith in myself. We'll do it. <laughs> so, see you up there. Come on, Nick.
this little overhang under this log and I've just stopped to have something to eat because I haven't had any lunch and it's starting to get late and I'm actually quite hungry and I thought that I could push through but actually you know when you get to that stage when you just think nah I'm too hungry starting to feel a bit weak So wet. Oh, and I can feel that it's cold because even though I've been walking really hard out for a long time, I'm not overheating. So I'm pretty sure as soon as I stop, it's going to get really cold. So we've reached the um, first mountain lake, and this is where we're going to look for a camping spot. So from here on in, it's eyes peeled for somewhere to camp. I'm going to find somewhere and get the tarp up get everything under the dry and then we'll catch up after that and have a little look around. It is stunning! Honestly, look at this. Look at where we are. Oh my goodness. That is unbelievably beautiful. Indy's not sure what to make of the snow. <laughs> what do you think, pup? Is it a bit strange? Is it cold? Yeah, it's a bit crazy, isn't it? Honestly, you guys, this is just so stunning. I'm going to give you a close-up shot of that waterfall. Isn't that just absolutely beautiful? We're surrounded by these incredible mountains. What a magical spot to be able to be in.
Okay, that's better. I feel a lot better now. So I've just changed into some warm dry clothes and um, my hands are starting to warm up. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Um, all I can think about is a hot coffee. <laughs> That's all I can think about. I just want to make a nice hot coffee. And then the next thing I need to do, because I can tell that warmth is gonna be the most important thing, is um, I need to go and get a fire started. I need to go and gather some firewood, which I'm sure you aren't surprised to hear is gonna be um, an absolute nightmare. This place is so incredibly wet and my only hope of getting a fire started is if I can find some standing dead wood, some trees that have died. But you know, most of them are covered in this thick, wet moss. So there's a good chance we won't have a fire, but I am desperate for fire. As per usual, I've brought a bit of kindling with me as well from home, some dry pine and some fire starters because I am not mucking about. Good girl. Whoopsie. <laughs> Microphone's going for a tumble. Okay, so I think the tent is going to go just here. I see a few flames, that looks good. Indy, no, 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 oh, darling. Indy loves being dry, you'll see. So she will plonk herself straight down on the tent. Good girl. 
You can come back soon. Sit. Sorry. I think I'm going to have a fern. Right? No, Indy, off. Come, here. Sweetheart, you're going to ruin the tent. Off. Sit. Stay. No, uh, uh, uh. Off! Get off the tent! Sit! I'm sorry, pup. You cannot be on the tent. You will ruin it. Stay. Uh, emotions are running high. I really want to get the tent up. So I think I'm just going to contend with that fern. Good girl, good waiting. Great thing with this doggy raincoat is she is warm and dry and clean under there. Doesn't mean all of her is warm and dry and clean, but the majority of her, her is. Feels good, doesn't it? Oh, now watch out for the water over here. Good girl. Come, come back, come back, because it's dinner time. I just don't want you kicking over my water, that's all. Yes, it's dinner time. There you are. And then don't go inside, it's dinner time. All she wants to do is go and be warm and dry. Where is her bowl? Here it is. Okay, pups. Actually, I'm going to put you over here so you don't kick over my water. She says. Let's put... There's hardly any water in there. Oh my gosh, I seriously, I did, I think I boiled, I boiled my water away. Gosh, I'm silly. Okay, um, Indy, your food is in here, and Indy's got a special treat. I bought her a bag of treats, and she, unfortunately, when we left to come on this camp, we weren't leaving from home. We'd been away on holiday and I'd forgotten to bring the bag of treats with me. So instead, I've got a piece of beef schnitzel to put on top of her break, her dinner. Okay, is this good? Now wait. Good waiting. You see, she can't look at me. She can't look at her food. She's just concentrating so hard. 
Hang on, this is gonna be good. Look at this. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> let's see how much of a tea I can conjure up with this tiny bit of water in my kettle. Water that I boiled that's probably now cold. Let's see. Close, lukewarm. Okay, I'm gonna drink it anyway. Mm. And actually, I really do want that cup of tea, so I'm gonna heat up some more water. You won't be able to make out camp just yet, but it's right in the middle of the screen. We'll head back. It's still raining, so it's not the most pleasant conditions to be out in. But it's lovely sitting underneath the tarp. There you are. You see camp up there? I'm going to turn the camera around in a moment and show you my view. It's absolutely spectacular. <laughs> this was a spot that was hard fought. I feel like I had to fight hard to get here through all that mud. Uh, through the water. I think it was, it ended up being about, about three and a half hours, which is, it's not that long. But it's a good amount of walking. I think without a pack and in really good conditions, you can get up here in two hours. So the sign says two hours. And I thought, well, I'm gonna add another hour for the atrocious weather conditions. The fact that there's so much water and mud on the track. Um, and for the fact that I've got a heavy pack, because this is, this is more of a day trip walk. There's no designated camping spots. There's no huts up here. Most people come up here and do a day trip um, so I think the walking times are based on that. So with the pack and the atrocious conditions, I thought it's not going to be two hours, it's going to be three. And then there's half an hour of backwards and forwards taking uh, video, stopping, starting. And on top of that was my little lunch stop. I'd been anticipating that it wouldn't start raining until I'd got up here, so wasn't really expecting to have to stop in the rain to have lunch. In the end it worked out fine. So this track, if you're interested in coming on this track, if you are in New Zealand or travelling to New Zealand, this is in the Victoria Forest Park. Now I can see the last bit of the smoke from the fire is just drifting right in front of the camera, so I'm so sorry. There's not much I can do. I'll keep an eye on it and see. I might, I might move the camera. Um, yep, so this is the Victoria Forest Park, and um, this walk is called the Klondike Valley Walk. There's also the Klondike Spur. So I'll show you in the morning when there's more light, but there is a spur basically that you can take from the valley up to the peak and um, that gets you up to the top where I showed you the waterfall coming down and up there is a big lake so there's a small one down here there's a really big one up there 
and you can walk up there and then you can drop down into this valley and come out this way or do it the other way where you come up the valley and then go up to the lake and back down the spur. I'm definitely planning to do that but I don't think that winter's the best time for that because um, there's quite steep drop-offs in one portion of that spur track and I don't think being in the snow and ice on my own in the middle of winter um, with drop-offs on either side is a very smart idea. So even though I like to take some risks when I'm out walking, um, I like that just right challenge. Uh, I don't want to do something that's going to be dangerous. Hello. You nice and warm under there. <laughs> I think she's enjoying herself. All right, I'm going to show you the view and then I think it's time to get started on dinner because it's actually getting late. So that's my view, you guys. It's probably quite dark for you. The camera light doesn't really shine the light very far, but you get the idea. So down there, just off to the right of the screen, that's where I went out and showed you the view earlier on. So we're just right here above the track. Great little spot for the night. Alrighty. I've still got a piece of the schnitzel for Indy for her breakfast. This is going to take absolutely no time. <laughs> Snitzel doesn't take long to cook. And I've cut it up into strips. Ooh, steamy. Let's see. Perfect. That has to be the most unexciting, let's face it, boring camp cooking that has ever been done. But it's so quick and so delicious. It's warm. It's all I feel like. I'm not that hungry, but I will appreciate the protein. So cheers, you guys. I'm going to have my dinner. And then I will catch up with you afterwards. Yay for easy camp dinners. There you are. Someone's rather comfortable. She's so toasty warm in her sleeping bag. Far warmer than I am. So if I get cold in the night, I'm going to be tempted to share that sleeping bag with her. <laughs> Put it over both of us. Oh, right. I'm going to say goodnight to you guys now and see you in the morning. raining lightly.
so lovely. Forecast is for the rain to peter out overnight, so I think we should get, I don't know if we'll get a clear morning, but we should get a rain-free morning. I really hope it's lovely and clear. I'd like to be able to show you around. Good night, Indy. Someone up there is unsure if she wants to come. <laughs> She's thinking about staying warm. I don't blame her. The snow is deep. Hi, who did you decide to come with? Oh, it's tough going, isn't it? Oh, look gorgeous. Oh, baby. All right, let's get some water and get back to camp. Breakfast time. Oh, you love breakfast time, don't you? You love breakfast time. Just wait. I've got something else for you. Good waiting, pups. Good waiting. Oh, there you are. Okay.
<laughs> Are you looking for more food? Can you come by down? my water on the boil for my morning coffee and actually I've brought enough coffee for two coffees. One is, <laughs> hello, I bought ground coffee for a nice decent coffee and then I've also got a packet coffee. This was the one I was going to have yesterday afternoon when I first arrived and then I spent so long on the fire I never got round to it. So I can have that this morning as well. And my breakfast this morning is really simple. I've got a banana and I've got some homemade seed biscuits which are so tasty. That and two coffees will do me fine because I think I'm going to treat myself <laughs> I'm going to treat myself to a cafe lunch on my way home <gasps> oh because this has been um, oh I was going to say miserable but it, it hasn't been this is the thing is I absolutely love it I don't think of this as miserable but it is uncomfortable and so I like to do little things like treat myself with a, a yummy a yummy lunch on my way home hello do you think I'm talking to you? I want to tell you something that's really funny. When I'm editing these videos, I often go over and over the same little track as I'm changing the audio or adjusting the lighting or splicing things together, cutting them, putting in transitions, all of that sort of thing. And every time, Every time I say something to Indy, like, is it breakfast time? Or, come on, pup. She will run in from the neighbouring room, wherever she happens to be, even if she's downstairs, she'll, she'll run up to me because she thinks I'm talking to her. And um, <laughs> after a while, I have to put on my headphones so that I'm not um, bothering her every couple of seconds. Hey. I want to give this water a good boil because although there's a heck of a lot of rain water coming into that tarn, I still, I still prefer to collect water from running rivers rather than lakes, it's just a thing. <laughs> so we'll give it a good boil, make sure any bugs are killed off. I can see the waterfall through the trees. It's amazing. What I'm trying to figure out is on the map and on people's, um, Indy, I know darling, I'm not chatting to you, I'm chatting to them. And on, I'm gonna just pretend that I'm talking to her. <laughs> so she stops annoying me. Um, on people's blogs, who've written about this walk and um, I think it might even say it on the Department of Conservation website, you can walk between these two lakes, the lower and upper one. But I'm really intrigued as to which route it takes because that's very, very steep. Very steep. So it must be a pretty steep climb to get up there. I will find out one day. Okay, water's boiling. I'm gonna turn it down a fraction, but then we're just gonna let it boil for a while. What do you think? You wanna go? You have to wait, I've got to have my breakfast and my coffee. She 
she slept really well. I woke up a few times, but I went to bed at nine o'clock and got up at eight o'clock, so that's, <laughs> that is a huge sleep. 11 hours, I think I probably woke four or five times, but all the same. I definitely have drips of rain tracking back under the tarp and I can see they originate at the tie down uh, guy line points. So the water's tracking from those and then coming underneath the tarp. You wouldn't get that on my Stony Creek tarp. The one with a hole in it. I haven't done it yet, but I'm just going to mend it with a patch. Let's see how we go. All right, Indy, the only thing is I did put some of last night's water in this cup, so let me get rid of that. Did you want some water? You've got so much water around, but you might want some. Let me give it to you. Excuse me. Some water. There's puddles all over the place, and she's drinking from them, so I just took for granted that she had done that this morning, but I don't think she has. There you go. Look at that. All gone. Okay, I think I'm going to start with an instant coffee and then I can let my other coffee brew while I drink this. Ah! Stupid packets. They always rip in a funny way. Prickles in you. You know, there's still rain on the tarp. The weather's actually not changed at all. I was hoping for a clear morning, but it's just the same. <laughs> Light rain and mist, which is really moody and beautiful. Don't get me wrong, it's lovely. I was just really hoping that we'd get some sun. Oh, some sun. Right, I'll pop the uh, microphone up here and then hopefully you can listen to the drips of rain.
it's exceptionally beautiful sitting here looking out there at the view but it's still very very cold my body's nice and warm but my toes are really cold because even though I had dry socks I had to put them into my wet boots and then walk out there through the snow so um, I just need to let my feet warm up inside the boots so let the water <laughs> sounds gross but let the water warm up and then my feet will be okay but it's probably best if I get moving sooner rather than later so I think that's going to be the plan Ah, oh. I still want that second coffee though <laughs> so once my ground coffee is nice and um, stewed <laughs> I will drink that and then I think what I'll do is while I'm drinking my second coffee I'm going to pack down all the gear and um, get myself ready to go because there's not much point sitting around in the cold I've had to switch to my iPhone so I hope it looks okay my, phone, my camera is technically waterproof but there's a lot of moisture I think moisture's got in through the lens because there's a lot of um, sort of steamy fog on the lens, I think it's inside the lens, which is not good. I was just reflecting on how hard these kind of camps are on my gear. All the more reason to do a car camp. I've got a car camp planned. I'm not really much of a car camper because I don't really like to be close to the road when I'm camping. I prefer to be well away from other people. It just makes me feel safer. Um, but I have come up with a really cool spot that's quite secluded and um, bought myself using my super thanks money from you guys. I've bought myself memory foam and air mat <clears throat> and it is so comfortable and that's going to go in the car and um, I'm planning to head down south I'm planning to head down into the snow and go camping down there it's going to be a little bit of a glamp actually I'm going to bring my electric blanket <laughs> yes I am <laughs> And um, I'll be able to plug that into the power bank and um, not usually one for mod cons, but after a few very cold winter camps, I am seeing the light, so to speak. And I also have plans to do a hot tent camp. It's still just an idea. I still need to get the hot tent, but I have found one that's light enough that I should be able to walk it probably not very far, probably just about an hour. I've got a spot in mind, and um, yeah, the hot tent and stove, they're still weighty enough, but they are light enough that I feel like I could take them into the wild for a wild camp so keep your eyes out for those videos which will be coming up over the next couple of months hopefully if everything goes to plan <laughs> if you want to be notified when these videos come out don't forget to subscribe and to click that notify button um, that way you will know when my videos come out um, thank you guys for all your support thank you so much to um, those people that have donated a little bit of money via the um, YouTube super thanks um, 
since the last video that was Little Klondike Outdoors, Rosie W and Grandmaster Jedi. So special thanks to you guys. That was really, really kind of you. I really appreciate it. Um, but I just want to thank all of you. I mean, you know, right from watching the videos through to occasionally <laughs> not skipping through the ads, because that really helps um, in terms of me getting paid some money from the ad revenue. Um, don't watch all of them. <laughs> Sometimes I just go off and make a cup of tea when I'm watching a YouTube video that I really like and I want to say thanks to that creator. I just let the let the ad run, go off and make a cup of tea or go to the bathroom. Um, thank you for the comments. Such lovely comments that I get. I really appreciate them. You guys are awesome. Um, so yeah, feel free to leave a comment um, on this video. Let me know what you thought of um, this beautiful place. I would love the sun to have come out so I could have shown it to you in the sun because with the misty fog, it's actually really hard to get a really nice clear picture. But if you want to see it on a good day, Google Klondike Valley track. Uh, there's not that many uh, sites that have got images on them, but there are a few. And everyone that I saw did it in good weather. <laughs> Excuse me. For good reason. I think you get an incredible view, especially if you go from this tarn up to the top one. You get an amazing view out around the valley. Is it time to go? Do you think so? I think you could be right. We need to get ourselves packed up. I set off on this trip thinking about what I needed and what I needed was some space, some time away from the stresses and pressures of life to forget about everything else and I absolutely did that. This trip definitely achieved that. I haven't even thought about work tomorrow and all the other things going on in life. It was lovely, just being able to get away to this beautiful, beautiful place. And somehow when your focus is on things like setting up a shelter, um, or keeping warm, or cooking dinner, or looking after another creature, a lot of the other things seem to just melt away. So I've had a wonderful time. Thank you for coming with me. And I will look forward to seeing you on the next adventure. You gonna say goodbye? Goodbye guys, bye from Indy and I. Thanks for coming. See ya.
fingers. 